the hell? I literally lost the product I'm testing. So see through, I can't even see it. I found it, it was right in front of me. Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we'll be testing out the new Becca Zero Pigment Foundation. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. Oh, my sensual little salt licks, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a marvelous day so far. I actually wasn't even gonna film today, but this just happened to walk its little ass onto my doorstep today. Depending on how this looks and if it actually has a look, I may wear it all day. But the moment Trend Mood posted this on Instagram, I knew what the fuck the comments were gonna say. Probably because I was one of those commenters saying, what the hell? Like, I get trying to make all-inclusive shade ranges, but there isn't even a shade in here. Like, if it's a primer, that's one thing, but they literally advertise this as a no-pigment foundation. How in the actual? The ass of the box says, no-pigment virtual foundation uses a clear light blur technology that diffuses light around the face to smooth and blur imperfections without pigment. Formulated with hyaluronic acid to instantly hydrate, it cools on contact and helps perfect skin with a natural matte finish. You're supposed to use a spatula to then apply the product to your face fingertips, which then you're supposed to smooth onto your face. I have at least 10 primers that claim to do the exact same thing. I think the only difference is this isn't made with silicone. So if this does actually blur and you're wanting a blurring primer that is silicone free, maybe this could work for you. But really, is anybody actually going to use this instead of a foundation? Actually, I might. I personally am the kind of hoe that doesn't like to go out wearing a lot of makeup, especially if I'm wearing a mask. All I'll wear is maybe a little brown shadow, something very, very natural, and maybe like baked blush. I quite enjoy embracing the looks of my natural skin, so I don't mind if it's showing, but if I could kind of fake a healthier look without looking like I'm wearing makeup, I'm down to fuck with that. I'm not quite sure if this is on the C4 Ha website yet, but let's go ahead and hop over there to see if there's any details about it. Oh, shocker, this says one star. Okay, so this is $36. One review. Let's see what they have to say. Don't waste your money on this. It does nothing. Oh, wait, there's two reviews. A bad primer. Nope, this is supposed to be a product for a no makeup day. I get that. It does blur the skin like any other primer on the market, but if you try to use it like a primer, your makeup will pelt. Oh, let me see what's in here. Are there ingredients anywhere on this box? No, it's probably just gelled up water. Okay, yeah, there's a whole bunch of bullshit in the ingredients. I have no idea what is causing it to pill. It doesn't really seem like there's great things in here other than hyaluronic acid. I mean, there's hydrogenated castor oil in here. That'll add a little bit of moisture. Hydrogenated. We love that. They say after your skincare is fully absorbed, use the spatula to scoop out a pea-sized amount of product, then place onto fingertips, rub fingertips together, and smooth over face in circular motions. Like I'm directing a plane to land. We're doing a little bit of spreading action. Oh, okay. Let's open this up. The little lid says zero to hide, bitch. That's because there's zero to show. Cute pack packaging like A plus on that. It's been a while since I've actually seen like cool packaging and this is it. It kind of reminds me of like a glam glow face mask. It's beautiful frosted glass. It has a really nice weight to it. Probably not the best for traveling, but this is a piece that I would definitely put on my shelf just because it looks cool. It kind of looks like those reusable ice cubes. Oh my, the top. Oh, Oh, was that supposed to happen? Wow, zero to hide and zero quality, I guess. This isn't the spatula, is it? No, that can't be the spatula, right? No. Uh, no, it comes with a little tiny baby spatula. Look at that, that's so cute. It looks like a mini boomerang. That is precious. Uh, I guess mine just is a little bit faulty. We'll place that right there, I guess. I don't, uh, uh, stay. <laughs> well, it does come with a nice little seal. I'm assuming maybe it would get dried out if this weren't on there. Especially if it is silicone free. Ooh, that is a very interesting texture though. And it does, I think, have a slight fragrance, kind of florally, but I can't tell. Here's what it looks like. It's actually very pretty to look at. It's like gel, but matte at the same time. And it doesn't move either. Like there's no jiggle to it. Very much unlike almost all of my body right now. Let's just scoop a little bit out so you can see the consistency. Oh, that really is very cool. This is what I would imagine like an implant to look like inside. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out, I guess. Can get real close and personal. All I have on my face right now is some Poplux oil that I'm testing out as well as what else? So this is my little Poplux sample oil, whatever. And then I also have a Good Molecules Discoloration Correctum Searing. Co correct, what? Correcting Serum, not a Correctum Searing. Nobody wants their rectum to 
sear. But other than that, there's nothing on my face, and they did say to use this after skincare. This is my skincare, so we're good to go. And I guess because this is basically a primer, I don't need to prime. Okay, so here we have it. That is way bigger than a pea, so I'm not gonna take all that. It's like a gargantuous hybrid pea. And with that, I'm actually gonna take about half of that because I'll put it on half of my face and we can see if there's any difference. Are we ready for probably nothing? I am. Okay, we'll dot it right there. Ooh, you know, right where I dotted, I can instantly see that it's a little bit blurry. Okay, so maybe this could be good. It feels very nice. It feels silicone-y. Oh, and it does have a very cooling effect. It probably doesn't help that my fan's blowing on me, but it almost feels like menthol-y. Just make sure to rub it on half of my face ever so gently. It does rub in quite nicely. Like, if that person didn't say that this was a shitty primer, I probably would use it as a primer because it just feels nice. And here we have it on half of my face. I literally see no fucking difference whatsoever. I'm gonna go in with the other half on this side. Is anybody surprised right now? Fuck no. Oh, this is gonna be the shortest review ever. All right, so here we are. Maybe it's a little bit more blurry, but I think it might be more of like a placebo effect. Cause boo, I do not see any difference. Like, do you? Here, here. Here, like, how the fuck did they even photograph this to get product photos? Like, if you look at the Becca website, the only difference is that it looks like they powdered the tiniest bit and maybe turned the light down. I don't see any difference. Like, none. Let me try shining my flashlight on my skin and see if that does anything. No? Okay, so here's this side. It does look a little bit glowy and nice. Here's this side. Oh, fuck, it also looks glowy and nice. Well, there you have it. Maybe right here is a little bit more matte or something? I don't know. This is the stupidest shit we've ever tested on this channel. I am calling it right now. Can't believe I paid $36. Honey, if you're gonna try this, get it from somewhere that has a return policy, because you're gonna want it. And it might be because I applied, like, the whole pee to this half of my face, but it does feel like I'm wearing something on my skin, like, it's heavy, so that's probably my own fault, but still, it feels not weightless. I'm gonna take, like, half a pee on the other side, just to even things out. This is bullshit. Well, I know that one user said not to combine makeup with this, or at least don't use it as a primer, so we're going to. Okay, so I just grabbed my little daily makeup bag, and I was in my bathroom under normal lighting, and holy shit, this stuff is just pilling on its own. Like, if you gently rub it, it's not exfoliating the skin, it's definitely the product coming off, but I had, like, a big old white clump right there. It was like a something about Mary moment. Let's see if I can get a few more little pills. I think I've probably rubbed all the product off. Okay, I really don't want to rub everything off, so I'm gonna stop, but trust Trust me, it was pilling. It was weird. It was kind of like when you have a slight sunburn and your skin just starts kind of flaking. And normally I would think it was skin, but this morning I did like a deep exfoliation thing, so there's nothing left to come off. All right, so I guess I'll just go in with my usual kind of day-to-day -day makeup if I wear makeup. And I'd like to start with the Kiko Milano Arctic Holiday Stick. I know it's a little bit dated, but I love this thing. And I take it on my cheekbones, and then I also use it kind of as a primer right here. And then a teeny tiny bit to create a nice milk mustache. Ooh, that's sexy. And I just like to finger bang this into my face just like that ever so gently oh that looks really gross on top. Oh! This normally does not do that. Like, it's very pilly, and it looks like sunscreen on top of my skin. It normally just, like, melts right in. Let me try to blend it around a little bit more. Oh, fuck. I put some of that Becca shit on my eyelids, too, and now they look all crusty because of this. That's all right. I'll just blend a little bit extra today. <laughs> Yo. Ugh. Like, I don't mean to be dramatic, but I kind of did have a a little bit of a hope for this, thinking maybe there's like some miraculous formula they came out with. No, honey, no. I don't even get how they let this product slide. Like, do they not have a round table of panels saying no, fuck no? As if they do, every one of them bitches need to be fired. And that does kind of hurt to say because there have been so many Becca products that I've loved, but also lately, they've kind of not been the greatest. And that hurts me to say because their highlighter was one of the first ones that I ever tried and got me into creating highlighters. But fuck. Next, I like to take a little bit of Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. And by a little bit, I really do mean a little bit. Like, the tiniest little bloopy doopy. Like that, that's still way too fucking much, but I'm gonna use it. And I like to take this right under the eyes. And because I have a little bit of redness right here and on my nose, I take it there as well. And sometimes, if I'm gonna wear a little bit of shadow, I take it on my eyes. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit there too, even though we did put that Arctic stick there. And this concealer, when I'm just doing, like, no makeup makeup days, is 
is my all-time favorite. It is so beautiful. I think I reviewed it when I was on a cruise and went, like, snorkeling with it. But this shit lasts all day. You could probably slather this on your house and it would withstand a hurricane. Like, it is unbreakable. There we go. We look like we actually slept last night. And then with just a smidge of 100% Piers Bamboo Blur Powder, I'm gonna set under my eyes. Oh, God, I love this stuff so damn much. Between this and the Hourglass Translucent Powder, I don't know that I will ever need another one. Wish they weren't so expensive. Oh, God, this does not feel good in the lungs. Then, just because I am a little bit on the shiny side from all the skincare products that I use, I'm gonna set them into place with whatever's left on my little poof. Oh, and yes, I do still have eyelash glue from whenever the fuck I last filmed. Then for the eyes, I just use a combination of these two browns. They're not from anybody. They were literally a sample from my eyeshadow manufacturer. So I start with the lightest one and I kind of place it all over the eye, almost to the brow and just kind of smoke that shit up. I've probably done this in like 15 different videos, but I keep it very, very sloppy and I just bring a little bit down there and then take it down the nose. And then to finish up the eyes, I'm taking a little bit of the darker brown and placing it directly on the lids and only the lids. If I bring it to my lower lash, I look like a fucking raccoon that's been tortured for a week. So I just keep it right here and maybe a little bit in the crease and that's it. And this look that I'm doing is what I do if I like actually wanted to impress somebody, like if I'm going to a bar or out to eat or something, because normally the bitch can't be bothered. Then on a very, very rare occasion, I would use a little bronzer. I don't really know that I want to today though. Actually, just to see how it reacts to the shit I have on right now, let me apply the teeniest tiny bit. This is by Laura Mercier. And I'm just gonna tap it right here in a C motion because I already powdered my face I'm really not expecting much to actually stick and yeah, I don't think that really did much So I'm gonna move on to the last product. This is blue. This is Laura Geller's honeysuckle And I love this shit because it actually kind of acts as a highlighter as well more of a highlighter than a blush I think see oh yes, and it just brings back a little bit of a glow. Oh my god my cheeks It's been so fucking warm in here that I've been retaining so much water and it just goes straight to my face Face. It's crazy, but I really like to load up on this shit I kind of dust it over my eyes and use it pretty much everywhere to set my face I mean not everywhere, but I do apply a good amount because it's really not that pigmented It kind of blends in with my skin tone. It gives me a nice little just fucked glow I love coming out of the bathrooms at stores looking like this because people wonder did he hook up in there? Little do they know it was just the toilet water splashing back onto my face and my lips are dry as shit So I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on them. This is Alamar cosmetics and I don't know whatever this shade. I, it's pink. And there we go. Let me pull up a mirror to see if my skin actually looks any different than it normally does. Um, hmm. It actually does look pretty decent. I mean, I did put some really good products on my face, so I'd more blame those than the Becca product. But really, I don't think my skin looks any different than it would have had I used my normal products and omitted this. I mean, uh, I just know this. Mm. Oh, but I did get a little sample size of this Becca blush. Mmm, it smells like something? No, no, that's definitely my hands. Oh, look, it's got a cute little mirror on there. Okay, let me lightly dab into there and let's try this. Oh, that's pretty. It's very, very sparkly and shiny. Kind of a light baby pink. I like that. Well, at least I got some free samples out of this, but honey, the rest of it's going back. So my little biscuits, do I think that this is worth the price? That is the biggest fuck no I think this channel has ever seen. Do I recommend it? Honestly, yes. I mean, no. Fuck no. Of course I don't. This, to me, was a good attempt at something trying to be revolutionary, but it has been a long time since a makeup company has really come out with a revolutionary product, and once again, we are all let down. If you have ever been on a terrible Tinder date, this is the equivalent of that in makeup. I think maybe it could be used for a little bit of a blurring effect, but I would much rather use an actual blurring primer, even if it does have silicone in it, because though they might look the same, at least they don't have, like, some bullshit claims that you can use it as a foundation. Also for $36, we should have something that doesn't go like that. Props to the rest of the packaging though. I think that's actually the best part of this. I was gonna do a wear time test with this, but honestly, the fuck is the point? Like what, is it gonna fade and turn into nothing? Bitch, we're already past that point. Well, at least I finally have a product to put on the bottom of my best and worst of beauty list. But yes, I guess there you go. Well, thank you so much for being here. I love having you. If you'd like to support me and my channel a little bit more, please feel free to join us on Patreon. It's patreon.com 
patreon.com slash poplux. There you'll get videos a day early, you get Patreon-only content, plus, best part, it's cheap and fun just like me. And like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.